Hello, this is the Neverending Cycle, and today I am going to be showing you how to use server commands on a private server for Mac. Uh, most of my videos will be for Mac because I do not have a PC. Um, I'm hoping that I might be able to get one, but for now, Mac is what I got, and I like Mac, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So first things first, you might want to get uh, the server started up. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in my previous video. And you're going to want to join in. After you join in, uh, you're going to have this. Just keep that right there. Now this is going to be where all the commands are. If you want to see a list of all the commands, you can click help, type help. That will be the first command. And it will show you all of the commands. Now the first... Um, the first, oh my gosh, the first command is add bot. Add bot. You can add a bot into the game, which will basically be a person. So uh, I'll just add one bot. And now there's going to be a second person. His name is Blob, as you can see over down here. This guy named Blob. Hopefully, don't eat me. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of him. Oh, it bends on him. Oh. Oh well. Okay, so the next one is board. You can change what the board says at the top. So board, um, welcome to my server. And down here, it's going to say, welcome to my server. The next command would be board reset which resets it to normal default and it'll change it to whoever's the top. Okay. The next command is actually I'm gonna put this start on this one. The next command is change. So you can change a setting in the game. I just got eaten. Um such as uh I don't know how many bots are in the game you can change that with change you can change how much each food gives you it's easier just to go into ogre master src and then change it in the game server any but you can change it in game just be careful because that can cause problems um next thing you want to do the next command would be clear which clears the console output which makes it brand new like that so I'm do so okay and then there is color. So like, uh, let's say I was in teams. Let's say the game was in teams. I could change the color of my guy. So let's say I'm on the red team, but I want to be on the green team. You click color. You type in the player ID. Uh, so about the player ID. Type in player list. And it'll tell you the, um, the IP and the ID of the player. The ID is how you would be uh, named by so let's say I want to change the color I mean uh, change yeah change the color of my guy since I am uh, ID number one uh, I would click color color wait it's not how you spell color color one and then I would type the color red or green or blue yeah like that okay that's the next command. After that, there's exit, which will sh shut down the whole server. I'm not going to do that because I don't want the server to shut down yet. Which are, yeah, it'll shut down the so whole server. Then there's food. You can spawn food at a certain area. So there's uh, coordinates on the map. The lowest coordinate would be 0, 0, and the highest would be 6,000, 6,000. Those are the highest. Those are the coordinates. So anywhere in between those numbers is a coordinate and you could spawn food there there is game mode you can change the server game mode uh, from what I've seen this does not work uh, you can't change the game mode in game to free-for-all or something it doesn't work when I've tried so I don't know you can kick people so I could kick this bot out kick two and that since the bots number is two he gets kicked out Okay, now I can join back on mine Okay, now that's good that he ate me because there's another command that I need to use. 
So then there is kick, there's kill, which you can kill a certain person. Kill one, since my ID is one, you can see it up here. It'll kill me if I use this. I can... Uh, there is also kill all, which is the same exact thing, but it kills everyone. There is mass. This is probably my favorite command. I love just messing around. I'll, like, invite my bird to the game, and then I'll go mass one, since that's my ID. And then I'll just put myself like a hundred, a thousand, right? He's about to eat me, and I'll just grow like that. Bam, I'm huge now. Well, not huge, but I'm a lot bigger than I was. And then, well, got laggy. Then, uh, also, by the way, this will not be that laggy for you guys. I just have a slow computer. And so when I record, any game, game I play is slow. So, yeah. Uh, then the next command after mass is name. I can change my name. This is the command I have to have my name for. So you can do name. My ID is 1. The navi By the way, when you name somebody... Oh, I'm about to die. When you name somebody, there cannot be spaces or it will not work. It will just use the first letter. Because in the command text, if you do another space, uh, it thinks it's a different command. So you can have a space. But I'll change my name to the never-ending cycle. Bam. Uh, also, it, the only reason I can make it this long is because uh, in the, uh, the settings that I edited over here, I made it to where I could put my name at 150 length. So I, I could do never-ending cycle and just type E just a bunch of times, and it'll make my name super long. Yeah, no. Okay. Then there is a player list, which I've already showed you. It lists all the players, which you need to do to get their uh, ID. There is, I'm just going to clear, help, make it look a little nicer. And then there is, um, Pause, which actually, surprisingly, it's cool. It works. Pause. Bam. I just freeze. You can't move. You can't do anything. Everybody's going to freeze. So, it's, um, actually, I'll just keep it pause for now. Uh, it's also good, like, you could pause the game, and then, as the next command, reload. That'll reload the config. So, like, when you reload uh, the config, it'll just basically reset everything to default, which is sometimes helpful, but it doesn't seem to work right for me. Uh, status. I don't usually use this command. Let's see what happens. Status. Uh, this tells you how many players are connected. Uh, there's, it tells you how many players and how many bots there are. It says how long it's been running, the memory it's using, and the game mode. That's really cool. Then there's TP. Right now, I am at about zero, zero. So wait, hang on. My ID is one. So you do TP, the player ID, and then you can teleport them to whatever. So let's say zero, zero to put me on the virus down here because that's the corner of the map. Bam. It won't pop me because the game is paused. Or let's say I want to go all the way to the bottom right of the map. 6,000, 6,000. Going all the way down here. Or let's go 3,000. It should be the middle, I think. Oh, oh, I forgot the one. And the TP. TP, one, 3,000, 3,000. That's about the middle of the map. Okay. The next command would be... Uh, virus. You can spawn a virus uh, wherever you want. So let's go instead of TP, I'll put virus 3010, 3010. Should be close to me. Um, I think it's the one down here. Let's get a little closer then. 2001, 2001. Okay, where am I at then? TP, 2010, 2010. TP, one. Oh, okay. So let's go 3050. 3050, I was too close. And virus. What the? What just happened? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, by the way, when you're in the command line, you can't, uh, like, swipe like that. It doesn't work. It stinks, but it doesn't. So, 2050, virus. 
Is this still that close? Okay. Oh, I put 350. Oh my gosh. I'm like, you're probably like screaming at me right now. You're trying to be alone. And it TP'd me. Okay, well you get what it does. I'm, I'm done with this. <sighs> Troll. Okay, yeah, I'm zooming in. Um, that is all the commands for um, agar.io. Uh, that is pretty much everything you can do. It is everything you can do with the private server. That is everything you pretty much need to do in a private server. And I split. Okay. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, telling me what you need, what you, uh, want, and what, like, what you want, according to this. And, uh, what you think I should do to make this better, or what, uh, you should, what, yeah, just anything that helps. Anything that helps, and if you need help, also ask. I'll try to answer the best way I can. And, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, also, I am looking for a new intro. Uh, even though I haven't used my intro for very long, it's not probably the best intro, but it's what I got for now. So if anyone uh, is good at making intros, uh, I'd be one more. Uh, if you're generous enough to make me one, I'd be very thankful. And uh, I'll put you in the comments uh, if you do. And uh, hope you guys.